بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay now in this video we'll discuss about some multiple methods which is used by the administrator to monitor the network activity because uh, as an administrator it's important for you to monitor the network activity and ensure that the network is up and running so if any device fails probably you need to get some alerts and the reports and based on that we can troubleshoot so probably in this section we'll talk about some of the multiple options which we'll be using uh, to, to do all these jobs and commonly we call it as uh, telemetry methods or cisco traffic telemetry methods it's it's a word derived from the greek roots where tele stands for remote and measure is nothing but monitoring or calculating so it's very important for the network administrator to detect the what kind of traffic actually moving into your network uh, if you find any kind of unusual network traffic like malicious traffic going on the network so that you can monitor that and you can take an appropriate action to prevent uh, some kind of attacks and also if any kind of device fails then you need to get some alerts or you you need to have some information about the device failure and you can uh, you can actually fix it Uh, if you if you get that information that the device is powered off so so there are multiple methods we'll be using here like we'll be using something called ntp so ntp stands for network time protocol it is majorly used for all the networking devices having a common asynchronous time because dates in the time you you must have accurate and synchronous time across all the devices so we'll we'll be enabling ntp which is a common method of time synchronization between the networking devices and apart from that we'll be using something called snmp or snmp traps now probably the snmp feature allows you to uh, monitor the cpu utilization of the device or memory utilization of the device or maybe the interface bandwidth the multiple multiple things and this statistics can be collected by the snmp server and based on that information you can you can actually monitor the uh, device status in, in fact the connectivity and many other things and also will be will be enabling something called logging so logging is a feature where we can uh, keep a track of the events uh, and the changes happening in network we can specifically log uh, we can tell the device to send some log messages if any of the any of the traffic uh, matching or any any of the uh, in incident happens just like uh, just like the interface goes down or ehrp neighborship goes down something like that so apart from that we can also use some other features like netflow netflow is a method used to collect the network traffic statistics and we can export selected traffic and we can export to some netflow collector softwares and based on that it's going to give some statistics in a in a graphical way So all these options combinedly refer as traffic telemetry methods, and th using these methods we can uh, ensure that the network operates and it's always available all the time, because it's very important that the network administrator must have the visibility and the awareness, uh, like what is happening into your network. 